I know you'd like to be a content creator just like me but something keeps on holding you back but guess what we go through that a lot so anytime I'm at the street and I need to start filming something I'd be like what if I'm not sorted in the, the street what if my phone is grabbed in the street so I just leak that I don't use a GoPro I use my phone so there, there is always that fear of unknown something inside you there is a committee telling you you're not okay for this you know ready for this but you guess what anytime you have to fight your fears just be like ah <sighs> it's your chest man then say i'm the beast yeah you are the best of the best you start like nothing going to hold you back no we are in koinange street and uh, i think i'm loving this street so much but the reason is because uh, i, I school somewhere next to koinange street university way somewhere next yeah so anytime i want to pick my bearing i have to come here i have to start here the girl the street let me show you how narrow be during weekends. Koinange Street is located in the hub town of Nairobi and the fact that uptown belongs to the owners of the economy, the streets are not busy. The countable vehicles you can spot around, it says that they belong to students, their owners left them here last night, or the owners are having some meetings in the nearby restaurants. We have Java and some clubs around. Much appreciation to the current governor of Nairobi for giving content creators the freedom to film anywhere within the city. Before we never used to have such a freedom. Within Koinange Street we have over 20 banking institutions and international companies. Don't forget the city market, where even diplomats would come here to enjoy the African cuisines and shop for the African artists.
Whenever I tell my friends that I am in Koinange City, people would perceive it differently. For someone who is cultural in the city, they would think that maybe I'm doing a certain business there. Remember Koinange is a center whereby we have booming businesses. We have international businesses here. We have big financial institutions here. We have schools here. But for someone who grew up in the village, for someone who is still living in the village, someone who is at the hood, so they will think that I am practicing prostitution. For someone who had been to Koinange Street way back before the year 2012, we had Florida Madhouse, which was replaced by yeah, the KTDA building. In case you never attended jam sessions as an Arabian, then that's a stage in life you missed. Nairobi is a Maasai word, Enkare Nairobi, meaning a place of cool waters. Initially, Nairobi was a swamp whereby no one occupied here until the year 1899 when the British colony established a depot here for the construction of the Kenya-Uganda Railway.
Now this is why you should visit Nairobi during weekends. The African culture is displayed on the streets. Depending on the county administration, most governments would prefer giving weekends to its citizens. So during weekends, you are so free to display your shop at the end of the streets for free.